Well, it's time to start the good old roses going. And the rose that we're going to start with first will be the one way up here in the back. I like to start from the back and work forward so you get that layered effect. Now before we start, I'm going to show you the palette and show you the colors that we're going to start with base tone of the first rose that we're going to paint, we're going to take some orange and some yellow, mix them together, and some pink. Now this pink could be floral pink or it could be a pink that you've mixed up, and white. Mix it together, and you're going to end up with this sort of this peachy color. <laughs> And this is the color that we'll use for the tone, base tone of the rose. And we might have to add a little more orange or pink or whatever to this color to, because uh, you always have to add something or take something away uh, to make it work. So, but basically this is what we'll start with. Okay, so we're going to take that tone Make sure you have plenty of paper towels on hand because I use it to wipe the brush on all the time. I'm going to dip in and pick up a, some medium and on it goes. Now remember, this is the base tone. This is what goes on the flower first and it acts as the shadow color. I'm going to put a little more pink in there. It doesn't look like there's enough pink. Color will look one color on your palette. And then something else, when you get it up here and start mixing for the base tone. So if you have to darken it a little, you always have to adjust your color one way or the other. It, you very seldom hit it on the nose the first time. Now, right now, the important part not only is the color, but also we want to make sure that the outside edge matches the contour of your of your pattern that you put on. So there's your tone. That's your your base tone and that's the color that goes on and uh, first and we'll just kind of come in there a little closer so you really see this stuff. Now I'm going to reach down. I'm just picking up a little crimson and that's going to go in the middle. You notice how I'm going to bring it down inside a little bit and maybe work that out a little bit on the outside, yeah. Well, let's see, I think what I'm going to do, well, let's take that crimson and I think I'll spread it around a little bit more so that it picks up, it gets a little bit darker, yeah. Now, don't OD on crimson because you know that crimson stuff is, is pretty strong stuff. I'm going to put a little touch of orange in here, just kind of put it in there and just let it sit there and a little in here, maybe a little down in here. All right, now the separation shows the separation between the two front petals. Now I'm going to reach down, pick up some white. And so we have a petal that's going to be right here, and another petal here, another one there. Now you'd have a vanishing point at the base of each petal, here, here, here. And all your strokes are going to head towards that one point. And there's a petal. And we put another one in. Just a little guy in the middle. And another one here. And round the back off. <laughs> yeah, I know it looks simple, but it takes some practice. There's another one in here. Oh, the brush I'm using is about a half inch brush. Normally I'll use one that's three quarter inch for a large roses and this is about a half inch. Now you see that push down and you kind of pull up. There's some foreshortened petals where you use the side of the brush. See? Yeah. And maybe a little light's hitting back in here in a few places. So this petal, this uh, little rose is way in the back so there's really not that much going on. If you have to, we'll take a little more white and bring out a few more edges. Yeah. Now, if you want to darken it up in a few spots, you say, oh, maybe it's a little too light, we can take a little gray. Remember that gray we first used on our petals? 
on our excuse me on our leaves. I'm going to mix some of that gray with the pink and add a little shadow in there. Now that gray, let me hang hold this up for you. See if we can find see the gray. I'm going to come over and take that gray and mix it with either the floral pink or just some red and white and uh, You've made your own pink, so one way or the other, make sure you get a pink color. So the gray is graying down the pink, which we're going to put on here to kill some of that orange that we have in there. And gray is just a nice color to use, too. Yeah, you guessed it, to gray our color down with. And there it is. So if it gets too gaudy on you to begin with, put some gray on there. And that will gray it down. If you have to get back in the middle of that guy and darken it up, you can do that with a little touch more crimson and just kind of pat it in a few areas in there. But remember, this rose is way in the back, so we really don't have to do that much to it. Oh, I do see that we could take a little more white and pull out a few more petals here. These are, that's just the side of the brush. Side of the brush. Painting roses will be the most frustrating thing you'll ever want to do. <laughs> and you have to paint at least a hundred of them before you really get the knack of doing them. Now we're going to start our next one. And we're going to take a little yellow ochre, mix that. This is going to be our base tone, and a little touch of sienna, and mix in there, and a little touch of medium. And let's put this on this one. I can see it needs a little more sienna in there, so we'll put a little more sienna, darken it up a little bit. And don't put the base tone on too thick. A lot of people put it on thick. And what happens is that you try to get your petals to show up and uh, the thick paint starts to eat up everything. And so you put it on thicker, 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 and you can't do anything. So keep this one. This, this is very, very thin. So I'm dipping back into the medium, into the yellow ochre and sienna. And here, you kind of use the side of the brush to get that little bit of a scalloped edge going. And follow your pattern. So there's your base tone. In order for us to show light, we have to have dark. Now we're going to go in the middle of that. We're going to take a little more sienna and a touch of crimson in the middle. See? And we're going to come out sort of in a curvy stroke to set the center of the rose down. Now this is burnt sienna and a touch of crimson and you see how I just sort of bounce around adding a little dark. You see? Can you, can you almost looks like a rose already when you haven't even done anything. I see a little nice uh, red color. We'll take some cad red light and throw a little that.